When a world is set up and is already being hosted, it will generate a code for you to be able to log in and join. So um, as I log into my Minecraft Education Edition account, um, it can be set up from a student perspective and from an educator perspective. And when I go into play, there is the join world option. When I click on join world, you would put in the four different uh, codes that have been given to you to join that world. So it might be water bucket, Steve, and it might be cookie, and then a final one. Um, there might be one, so I'm not going to press it <laughs> right now. Um, but this would be created by the person who is hosting the world and is created of the world. The person who is hosting has to be there. If you join this um, and then the person is not there um, and leaves their world, it will shut down for everybody in that group. So when students and educators are working together, that needs to be a consideration on um, how people collaborate. So to enter uh, and join a world, the educator would uh, refer to the other OCSB how-to video for creating and hosting a world and then sharing those four join codes, those images, and then the end user who is joining it, in this case, probably the students of that class would receive these four codes for that specific hosting session and then would enter them and then confirm and enter into the world to join in on the learning and the fun.